Hi, I'm Phil. And today I'll be asking questions about this. With this guy. Hi. So Henry, what exactly is this? Uh, this is a PLC, Programmable Logic Controller. That's what PLC stands for. What does it do? So a, a PLC is a specialized industrial computer, basically, can control various types of automation equipment, like you know motors and pumps and fans and things like that. Okay, so this begs the question then, so if this is just a computer, why can't I just use my computer from home? How many times have you ever had your PC crash on you? Blue screen of death. Yeah, yeah. Or opened a program and everything freezes up for however long. Yep. PLCs are designed to be more robust, more reliable, and they're actually limited in their capability for that express purpose. They can withstand things like high temperatures and long run spans and things like that without crashing or, or failing on you. If my computer crashes, I just turn it back on. Why can't we just do that with this? Well, you gotta think about the manufacturing line. Manufacturers have machinery that has stuff that they're making. If the machine goes down because the PLC is unreliable, then they start losing money. They can't develop the product they're there to make. Some products have you know, a limited lifespan um, or are perishable, like in the food and beverage industry. So if the machine goes down, manufacturer might have to throw out a whole bunch of product and that's a lot of money down the drain. Has the technology really changed in the last couple decades? Oh, actually it has. That brings me to the PAC. What is a PAC? Ah, PAC stands for Programmable Automation Controller. And what is the difference between a PLC and a PAC? Ah, uh, yes, well, PACs have enhanced flexibility, networkability, and scalability compared to a PLC. Oh, well, those are my three favorite things. PACs utilize high-performance modern processors and electronics. This allows design engineers to add in a lot more features. Probably the main difference would be the spread of communications technology. Almost everything these days has some sort of network connectivity um, to allow it to connect to the internet. The internet in an industrial environment... Like my PC, huh? As I was saying, the internet in an industrial environment is different from your home internet, for instance. All of these different pieces and parts that are connected to the network, that's called the Industrial Internet of Things, or IIoT. Within a factory setting, PACs can reliably communicate and control many different network devices. Okay, you've talked about the network abilities of the PAC. What about the scalability and flexibility it offers? PACs are designed to offer scalability to provide processing power and performance to handle the demands of both small and large applications. PACs also have a modular hardware design. That means the modules can be added as needed to meet evolving requirements of an application. Oh, that's significant. Flexibility within a PAC allows a variety of input and output options while their communication and networking capabilities provides easy integration with other devices like sensors, actuators, and HMIs. Sometimes there are very large and complex processes that are too much for one PAC to handle. The great thing is that PACs have the ability to work together in a large distributed system. This means you can solve these huge problems by combining the capabilities of multiple PACs. Let's see if I can sum this up. We started with the relays to create a logic system. It was big, it was cumbersome, took a lot of energy, and had lots of wires. So we invented the PLC. The PLC combined a bunch of those ones and zeros that the relays were mimicking and turned them into a computational system. Now we're at the PAC, which 
is even more powerful in this kind of line of uh, logic that we have here of decreasing the amount of wires, uh, increasing the amount of scalability, and allowing engineers and technicians to do their job at a greater capacity and with greater ease. Wow, my head is swimming from all of this new information. Thank you, Henry. No problem. And if you'd like your head to swim with more PLC info, you can like and subscribe to our es &E TV YouTube channel. And don't forget to like this video and hit that notification bell for the latest updates. That's right, Phil. That's right.